Hi guys, you are watching Interesting and Fickers. This is a new episode of Treehouse in the Forest. We're going to have a tough week as we start making furniture. We'll make it from wood, logs, branches and everything that is around in the forest. So we came up with an approximate idea of what would be the arrangement of furniture in the house. Near this wall, we first wanted to put a bed, but then we remembered that we had a staircase under the hatch. In the end, we changed our minds and decided to screw the ladder tightly to the wall and all the same put a bed here, because it's very practical. It will be near the store when we'll be warm to sleep. As for that corner, we thought for a long time why we need it and why are we making it and I got the idea to make a kitchen there. Therefore, we'll have a kitchen corner there. The only thing that we haven't decided is where we'll have a kitchen table, where we'll eat. Sergei suggests doing it near the window and I suggest doing it near another window. In general, we haven't decided yet. Let subscribers share their thoughts. Yes, write in the comments how do you think it will be better because if we put it here, it will slightly block the way to the kitchen and if we put it here, it will interfere with the entering the house. It can be made fold in one. This is understandable, but we still need to put chairs. We can't put them here at the entrance. Can you imagine we have been filming here, talking, and then suddenly we notice that our roof is missing. At first we thought that there was just a strong wind and it blew off, but it's very strange that not a single piece lies below. Then we went into the attic and it turned out that we were robbed. They took away the entire roof and also the remaining clapboards with which we had to sheet the kitchen. Now we are at loss and don't know what to do. Should be well further, what if we arrive tomorrow and there is nothing left at all? Or they just rob us every day? What should we do? Write in the comments. Should we continue building so that tomorrow everything will be taken away or it's time to just leave from here? We really don't know. Guys, we have a very sharp saw and I'm going to use to make a chair. This will be a seat for the chair, but I don't know if I can cut it off. Write your opinion in the comments. We need to saw off exactly in a circle. This is an oak stump. Yeah, so I don't know if it will work, but the chair will be just cool. I'm Rambo! Look what kind of seat we'll have made of natural wood. From oak. Yes, by the way, this tom can also be made as a seat. We can put it near the fire and sit on it. Guys, I'm planning on baking something over charcoal this week. To do this, I need to expand our fire. So we also bought concrete blocks and made such an iron cover so that we could then cover these coals and bake something. I don't know if it'll work. We'll see that later. In the meantime, I need to make a hole around our square fire and put up our side walls. And this is how my oven will close. So from these logs we'll make the base for our bed. As Sergei says we'll have an orthopedic bed, but it's not yet known what kind of mattress we'll have. We'll lay these logs perpendicular to the arcs which Sergei has already made and then we'll make the platform. Look what kind of bed we're going to have. Cool. Check out what a cool table we've got. I was afraid that it would be big and it would be inconvenient to enter the house. No, everything is great. It turned out well, very neatly. Now we have a place to eat, which is the most important thing. Also, Sergei redesigned our staircase. He sawed off the lower steps and screwed it to the wall. Honestly, we still don't know how we'll put this mattress here, but I think there will be enough space if we lie with our feet in this direction and here with our head. I already want to make the bed and light the stove so that we can spend the night here. 
Basically, we're doing everything with self-taping screws. I bought nails, but we didn't like this option. Self-taping screws turned out to be the best option. By the way, I've started to making the chair. I want to make a chair in the stool. The chair will be with the back. There will be specially such two bars. And the stool will be most likely on three legs. So this is how we're doing everything. We take a self-taping screw and just, just screw it in. Maybe it would be better if we had taken some angle bar, but for now we're doing this way. It turned out great, but it's so heavy. The oxide is really heavy. So we are done with our furniture for today, now we'll take the most valuable things. Usually we took the heater only for the weekend, but now we'll have to carry it either every day or not bring it until we spend the night here. It's already warm outside now. We're afraid to leave it here. It's good that the thieves came over the weekend and it wasn't here. The heater is the most expensive thing they could steal, apart from the clapboards. It's unusual that we have such a comfort here. It's hard to believe that there is furniture here. Let's turn on the light now. It seemed that now I would again see just an empty room. It became very cool, but this is just the beginning. We're still going to make some more stuff here. We'll make lamps. We'll make all this out of wood. We'll complete the interior with various little things that are missing here. Now we'll do this all. And I will bake pies. Yesterday we made stools, a dining table, made a bed, although not all the bars have been screwed on there yet. And today we will finally sheet our future kitchen with clapboard. Also, it's not yet certain that there will be a kitchen there because Sergei wants to make a bathroom there, but I insist on the kitchen. Also, today we'll be making some decorations. Now we'll light up the heater and see to what temperature we can heat the room. I also need to defrost the dough from which I'll bake pies on coal. Well, what are you doing now? Plugging in the outlet, we made an outlet here, but I didn't connect it last time. Now I want to make a lamp, a scones out of wood, and I want to be able to turn it on in an outlet. Let me remind you that we have a 12 wall socket, can you imagine? Not 220, but 12 wall, like it all lies in our house. So the procedure for making pies on cold begins. I bought a ready-made puff pastry. Before rolling it out with a rolling pin, or as in our case, a bottle of lemonade, we need to defrost it a little. Therefore, we have lightened up our heater today. Today we'll have pies with apples, cottage cheese and raisins. And there will be sausages in the dough. There will be three types of pies. So until the apples darkened, I decided to roll out the dough. And now I'll start stuffing the pies. It's so warm here compared to the outside. You check out my pies. Looks a bit ugly though, but the most important thing about pies is the stuffing. I don't know if pies are made like that, but I do it this way. I'm revealing to you a secret why I need these halves. I'm revealing to you a secret why I need these halves. Look, we'll have such a shelves. We just need to figure out how to hand them, because they are very heavy. I will make four more of these and it will be great. We put the coals aside to keep them hot, and now we put the pies in the clean place and cover them with a lid. I don't know how long it takes, but our dough is ready made, so I think 10-15 minutes will be enough. We 
We made a cool stool, it's quite stable. By the way, I'm already finishing the clapboard work. It remains to attach a couple of pieces, and here we can already make a kitchen. This corner is almost ready. Show me. Wow. It smells so good. Are they fully cooked? I think yes, we're just used to the fact that they are well-baked, beautiful, yellow, but I just didn't smell them with an egg, so they look pale, but should be delicious. Try it. <gasps> well cooked. Tasty. I should have added a little cinnamon to the apples. I'm allergic to cinnamon. Well, from this side it's clearly visible that it's well cooked. Wow, looks great. I decided to make one above the table and the second here. We can put something there. We should make a couple of more. Look, cool, isn't it? I'll put a topiary here if I make it. Here we can also put a wooden salt shaker, everything in wood style. Yeah, that looks cool. Everything in such interesting style. We can put a mug here and such a souvenir. We'll love flying to Thailand. Last time we brought this wooden tuk-tuk from Thailand. Did you secure it well? Hope it won't fall on my head. No, it's fixed on five screws. Is it for the stove? Are we going to heat it more? I actually want to make a lamb. It will be approximately like in a sauna, but it will consist of such two round pieces. From round pieces? or from sticks. This is how there will be round things and around there will be a brick stick. Inside it will glow. It will be a natural lamp. I think it will work. We'll check it out in the evening. Now we'll make two more of these and all our mugs will hang under the shelf. So, shall I turn it on? Do it. There you go. Works? Wow, it works. Cool. Looks like the night light. Yes. Now it looks so-so, we can turn on our lamps for more light. So now we can definitely live in our house. In the next video we'll do the piping and sewage systems and finally start making a sauna. Write your ideas in the comments below, hit the thumbs up if you are waiting for the continuation and tell us if you liked our furniture. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so as not to miss the new videos. It was Fikas and Interesting with you, until next time. Blah, blah.